host for Real Estate Radio Live, Joe Cuchera. Welcome back in. Thank you for joining us again this afternoon, spending some time with us. This is Joe Cuchera with Real Estate Radio Live. We're broadcasting live from the Inman Connect event here in San Francisco at the Union Square Hilton. I'll be with you here today till 4 and then tomorrow from 3 to 4 and uh, have a lot of great guests on the way as we finish up today. And tomorrow we're talking at this time, we'll being joined by Debbie DiMaggio. She's an author, realtor, and uh, focuses on VIP service philosophy, which she was explaining to us, which is excellent, treating everybody the same regardless, right, Debbie? Whether it's a $500,000 home or a $5 million home, I thought it was great, too. Exactly. Service providers, contractors, you make sure that they count as well because they're a big part of the team, even though they're not, they're not on the front cover, so to speak. You are the face of the organization, but these are all people that are important and integral to it. Without our service providers, we, we, can't, be, we can't be successful because... Right. If we have a home inspection and we we have a contingency in a home inspection and we need them to come right away, we can't say, okay, we'll see you next Tuesday. We need it today. So it spearheaded me to go to the sewer people and the plumbers to give them all that because Don Marshall from Harry Clark did show up like in an hour for me. That's and great. if I didn't have the relationship I had, so I needed them to know that I appreciate them yeah. even when I'm screaming, I need it now. <laughs> Let's change gears a little bit and get into the, to the dream home, the bid. I mean, most of the Bay Area, most of us are aware, low inventory, multiple offers, crazy offer asking prices. Um, how do you combat that, and how do you make sure that percentage-wise the people that you work with are the winning bid? Get the winning bid. Yeah, Is there that, a formula, a secret formula here? I mean, you think that you can leave certain aspects out of presenting the deal, and I'll go through that, but you can't. You cannot afford it. So I'll give you an example. You have you have to educate your clients. They need to be fully aware and on board with what you're going to tell them to do. They definitely have to be pre-approved, um, no question. Mm-hmm. Um, typically, you'll want them pre-approved where there are, it's already been, the loan's been underwritten, so they can get the deal, and they don't have to have an appraisal or loan contingency. Mm -hmm. That's not always the case. (laughs) But what's important where you can compete is the buyer and the agent can write a letter about, the agent can write a letter about their client. The client will write a love letter to the seller. Mm -hmm. Now, I have such a great story of how important that is. I have a good story and a bad story. Um, But they, number one, have to write a love letter about the home. And when I have not had the, you know, bothered the buyer to write a love letter, it came back and they said, well, can you tell us, can your buyer write us a letter? So the the sellers come to expect this love letter. Um, So the pre-approval, the love letter, you know, short contingencies or none, the buyer has to be completely prepared. They have to want the house because they're going to have to fight for it. So there's two stories. One story, I'll tell you the one that we didn't get. We wrote an offer. There was multiple offers. It got down to two of us. We both had to resubmit offers. We both resubmit our offers. They were exactly even. The sellers were actually feeling a little guilty because the prices kept going up and up. And um, it came down to the letter. The agent on the other side was, Debbie, I know you worked so hard and you made that first offer. And, you know, there's nothing you could have done. I go, what was it? Why? (laughs) I'm at a lacrosse game and I'm like on the phone going, why didn't we get it? And he said they fell in love with the other people from their letter. And I said, it's just, you have to have that letter. And a a really great story for my husband, Adam, he wrote a letter. He had the um, the seller, the buyer wrote a letter. He wrote a letter. He presented the offer in person. That's the other thing. You need to present your offer in In person person to the seller because you also want that seller to know how great you are of an agent and how you will perform and follow through. So Adam wrote the offer for these people. There were multiple offers. Because of his presentation and the letter, they got the house for one hundred thousand dollars less wow. than the. There were two other less. people less, less. His like offer this? was a hundred thousand dollars less. So, whatever it is, sometimes it's not the money. Wow. Very rarely, but those love letters you have you have to you have to they have to accompany your offer. Um, and then one other thing that a mortgage broker could do, because we're all we're all in it together, right? right? So we're a team. This 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 uh, buyer has to do their part. The lender has to do their part. You as an agent have to do your part. 
and um, and your your buyer has to be you know very well versed so they understand because you, as an agent you're putting yourself on the line if you go th write an offer and then the buyer changes their mind you don't want them to change your mind because it's your reputation sure. reputation as an agent um, what I was starting to say where was I going with that <laughs> you got to work together as a oh, team. Oh, as a team. So yeah. the other component is it's also very important, Is and this has been noted to me, agents coming back and saying that was really great, having the lender make a call oh, yeah. to yeah, the really, listing yeah. agent, even before, yeah. you whether you've presented the offer or right after you've presented, but that lender mm -hmm. just picking up the phone so that agent knows that that lender is right there, part of the team, not someone that, you know, will get back to you, yeah. someone that's already being proactive. So it's all about being proactive and working together. Very good. Well, we have a couple, a minute or so left here. I want to be sure. So just give another talk, you know, tell us a little bit about the book, what inspired you, if just, just a bit, and then how people could get the book, where they could find more information, how to purchase it. Okay. Um, so the book... I, it was spearheaded by my publisher who, who wrote, who helped me publish my first book, Contained Beauty, Photographs, Reflections, and Swimming Pools. And then we sold his house. We did the whole thing. We prepared the house, met with the inspectors. You know, I, I went through the whole process, and he's like, oh, you have to write a book. And I'm like, well, I'll get to it some point, some point. Well, he trapped me. We had lunch. He, you know, got someone to follow me around. And so the long and the short of it, the book happened. It was, I kept saying it will happen someday. So he helped spearhead it after yeah. he had the experience with us. So the art of real estate um, is really for buyers, sellers, and realtors, and real estate agents all over. It was kind of started out local, but what's in there can tra translate to any market. So great for all three. And also some just good tips for anyone in business in general. Okay. Um, and you can go to, I think, theartofrealestate.com. <laughs> <laughs> it's on Amazon. If you Google Debbie DiMaggio, The Art or of Real could, Estate, uh, you yeah, know. Yeah, they could find it So as we go, too. So anything, your book, information about your services, what you do, your team would be at your website? Is that the yeah, so... Um, I, Debbie DiMaggio blog is a great place to just, it's my lifestyle. It's, you know, I do, I was explaining to people, do what you, show, share what you love and people yeah. will be attracted to you because you're doing what you love and they will follow. So I have Debbie DiMaggio blog, DiMaggioEmbedded.com <laughs> or just DebbieDiMaggio.com. No E in Debbie. All right, <laughs> Debbie, thank you for joining us. It's been a great guest, a lot of good information. Thank you. All right, we're going to take our last break. When we come back, we're going to have one more segment, the Joker Chair with Real Estate. Radio Live, broadcasting from the Inman event. We'll be back with you to finish up in just a couple minutes.